Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I have a makeup look review thing for you guys. So if you guys have watched any of my um, like last couple videos, you know that I did a little bit of a shopping um, spree, and I went to a couple different websites and bought makeup from them that I had not tried before and I went ahead and I am trying out one of those palettes and the palette I am trying out today or that I did try out today is the Colourpop Star Wars Mandalorian the Child palette look how cute it is so this is the front obviously this is the back the box looked exactly the same this is the name of all the colors um and then when you open it up the mirror it says cutest in the galaxy which I thought was super cute and then here's the eyeshadows um, I like that the eyeshadow names are also on the palette like by the eyeshadow and then they are also on the back so here's the look that I did it's not anything crazy and I think this eye looks better than this eye um, but the way my eyes are hooded, you can't really tell when, like, unless I'm, like, doing like that. So, but here's the look. I don't know. I really like it. It looks a little, maybe my lighting is off. I don't know. But, like, this is the look I did. That's a little bit better angle. And I'll show you guys which colors I used. First, like in like my crease, I used this color, which is just like a tattoo neat. Okay, and then all over the whole lid, I used this green, which is called Baby Face. Then in the corner to darken it up a little bit, I used a teeny tiny bit of Float Your Crib, which is this one in the middle. And that's kind of where I messed up. It kind of didn't blend very... It didn't blend as nicely as I was hoping. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know if I like that decision. In my inner corner, which you can kind of see, I used Precious Cargo. Look at that. And then on the lid a little bit, in like this little bit right here, I put a little tiny bit of Right Hand Mando to give it like just a little bit of a sparkle yeah you can yeah and then of course mascara and eyeliner I don't know I really like it um I like the look I think baby face the green I used the one right here in the middle I think it would have looked a lot better if I would have had a white base I don't own a white base, but I think if I would have had like a stick, like an eyeshadow, like one of those like base, it's not really a primer, but it's just like a color stick. Or if I would have had like, I've seen people use ones like P. Louise is a really um, popular one that I see a lot people using. I think that if I would have had like a white base, it would have been much better because that green would have popped a lot more. But that's not the fault of the palette. That would be the fault of me. Because I didn't do that. So again, here's the inside of the palette. So it's I'm talking about this green right here. I really do believe that the look would have looked better if I would have had a white base to really make that color pop. So I do give this palette an A+. Plus. And I cannot wait to play with it some more. I just, I really, really couldn't wait to use that, that green. Um, I have a couple other looks in mind for this palette already. So there already might be like more videos in like the near future of me using this palette. It is only $16. It's a 9 pm palette. It's ColourPop. It's only $16. Um, that is a little bit more expensive than their, that's like, two dollars more than what their other um nine pan palettes are normally they're fourteen dollars 
uh, but this one is 16 probably because it's Disney. So there is that. I like this palette a lot. I think if you like this color scheme or you just like Disney or you just like Baby Yoda, I say get it. It's really, really cheap. Shipping took freaking forever though. I swear it, it seemed like it took forever, which apparently is normal for ColourPop, but it feels like it took forever to ship and then it took its sweet old time getting here. <laughs> Um, and then for anyone who's wondering what's on my lips, I'm just using um, one of Jeffree Star's The Glosses. This is in the color Mouthful. It's just clear. Well, I guess it's teensy tiny bit tinted. But it looks mostly clear on the mouth with just the sparkles in it. I just threw it on to have on because I like his glosses a lot. So I just threw it on to have it on. But yes, the Mandalorian palette, if you don't have it, get it. Um, I really, really, really like it. I do suggest, like I said, at least for baby face, that middle green shade, I do suggest getting a white uh, base to really help that color pop. Uh, but it did seem to be very, very buildable. Everything seemed to be really good. Um, at least for now, I can't wait. Like I said, I can't wait to play with it some more because I really, 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 really like this palette. All right. I hope everyone enjoyed my little review, first impressions. All right. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.